what do you do if you want to play fighting games and old school retro games, but you don't want to use a controller? Uh, yeah, what do you do if you want something more like an arcade fight stick and you don't want to blow $300, $400 on a fancy arcade stick offline? What do you do? Let me show you. Hey everyone, I'm Turbo Greg. What I want to show you today is something I've been working on, a little side project, uh, something that's just kind of uh, piqued my interest. Um, I've been playing some, uh, you know, retro games, a lot of old school stuff, uh, stuff from my childhood, the stuff that's near and dear to me, and I could not help but have a strong desire for a an arcade joystick, like a, a fight stick. So I. I built one. Let me show you. <laughs> All right, so you see this insane monstrosity. It—I uh, I don't know how much it weighs, but it, it's heavy. Um, it's made out of—it's made out of two by fours, and uh, you know, what is this? Lexan and some scrap wood that I had laying around the house. So you can see it's, you know, not the best job in the world, but it was a good first attempt. Um, you know, it let me you know, play, uh, it let me play a lot of the games that I was missing in the way that I was looking for, but um, it was just big, heavy, and I mean, look at this. I don't know how well you can see this in the video, but um, it won't even fit between the arms of the chair that I'm sitting in. It either, it either sits sideways or it, sit sideways or you know it's too high up if it's right on top and too close so you know it's just yeah not good so not a bad first attempt but I wanted a better one so I made one this other one is infinitely better <laughs> what do you think not too bad huh this one was made with two by two. Uh, I used pine wood. Um, this one is much smaller. I can set it right in my lap, no problem. And I took the back on the, off this one too, so you can see this one is much, much better kept. Um, again, the, the two by two pine wood is uh, all the way around. No screws or nails went into the wood here. Um, I used a three-fourths inch thick backboard. I don't know how well you can see that. So that is nice, thick, strong, so you can really pound on it. You know, get pissed off at people, you know. Um, it will not break. And then it's got quarter-inch thick top board that the buttons and the joystick goes into. Um, you know, these bottom out after just, you know, a Maybe, maybe a half an inch. Really, you just need a quarter of an inch. Um, plus, you don't want your joystick to drop down, you know, three-fourths of an inch when you're playing, so you need that pretty close to the top. So that's the reason for the quarter-inch thick board. Um, I used some dowels, right? I just chopped off a few pieces of dowel, and I glued them in place. The whole thing was glued together, and then uh, I put this layer of Lexan on top of this one as well. Um, all I did for the artwork, I just printed out some photoshopped up stuff from my favorite fighting games and it's just a plain piece of white paper. I, I had it, I printed it out uh, and then the only screws that went into it were the four corner screws that hold the Lexan in place. Uh, the buttons and joystick, I got these off eBay. They were very cheap. Um, they were like, uh, they were is this uh, maybe it's a zippy joystick so it's like a it's like a good Chinese knockoff of the Sanwa buttons uh, and joystick but uh, this is perfect for me this is all I need the cool thing about this um, is that this is much much lighter this weighs almost nothing um, it's just a, a much better you know 
plan of attack on the desire I had for a fight stick. So, uh, this came out so well, and for it to be a second attempt, um, I'm thinking about making these. Not full-time, but maybe part-time. I think I might go out in the garage, make some more of these, um, do them up real nice, put what I've learned back into it, reinvest it, reinvest myself into it, and I might start selling these. Um, what do you guys think? Would you like to see a product like this? Um, if you would, please do let me know. Uh, I've been I've been streaming on Mixer, um, so uh, yeah, if you want to support me a little bit, head over to Mixer. I am Turbo Greg. Just uh, look me up, and we can you know we can get in there, and play some play some games. <laughs>